When the 10-inch LP came into existence, um, suddenly people needed liner notes, they needed cover art, and they had to print all these jackets. Blue Note realized, well, if I have to spend money on this stuff, I might as well use it to my advantage to make it like a sales point. Right. So right from the beginning, they really took their cover seriously. Reed Miles would take shots and crop them, you know, and tint them and use them with graphics. You just look at it today and, and you know it's a Blue Note record. Graphically, it, it permeated the entire culture. I was watching Jimmy Fallon last night. This is Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. And it looks like a Blue Note cover. It's, it's just part of the graphic vocabulary, but it was startlingly new when Reed Miles did it. It's one of those few labels where the brand, for lack of a better term, is as big a star as any artist. My last record that I put out was called Ten. I have a friend and artist named Adam Pendleton, and I asked him to design the cover, and he said, oh, well, what about just ha having ten dots, like classic Blue Note? And so then when I presented the idea to Blue Note, like, yo, we're just going to go with ten dots on the cover and the Blue Note logo. He said, where's your name going to go? I said, my name is not on it. Where's the album title going to go? No album title. <laughs> just the ten dots and the Blue Note logo. So that was like my, my tribute. This is one of the rare times when Frank Wolf didn't use a, a flash, it's the available light in Rudy. And he saw that little sliver that where he's marked it with blue pin ink. Mm. That became like the cover photo for um, uh, the Sidewinder. Blue Train poster is like one of the most iconic Blue Note images. You can still hear the music in my head when I see the poster because the poster is so ever present. I always assumed looking at the cover of Blue Train that he was um, sucking on a reed. And it wasn't until I acquired all the Francis Wolf photography that I got to examine the photo and he's actually sucking on a lollipop. <laughs> Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's awesome. So his reads taste good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>